and welcome back and this is a Q&A. All right. So, um this person wants to know if you can make clay bead bracelets with words on them. I mean, yeah. I just got new clay beads, so I'll start making words. It's a good idea. Um okay, so this person said they want to know what are some ideas that you had that ended up not working out as good products. Um I had this idea to make headbands. Which I thought would be a super cool idea, but then our sewing machine broke, and I thought like it wouldn't really work because it would be like too out, and it would be super hard. So the pins that. didn't really work either. Remember, you were gonna make pins. Yeah, I, I tried to make pins with resin, and that didn't work either. So yeah, the pins didn't really work out. Nobody really wanted them. This person wants to know what are your goals. For your business. I don't really know because like I hit most of them besides getting 10k on TikTok that's really it. Mm -hmm. So your TikTok is just Dilly Donut Designs right? So follow us on there too. Okay this person would like to know how you manage school and your business. Now it's summer break yeah, so, so um, that makes it a lot easier. I'm all done with school. Um, this person wants to know if you make everything yourself. I do make everything myself. And they said how? So maybe you can make a video doing that. I'll do some tutorials. Um, somebody wants to know how you got your idea to call it Dilly Donut Designs. So my grandpa likes to call me Dilly instead of my real name. And I like donuts. And my photo was me eating a donut. And then I designed things. So it kind of all went together. Um, do you have siblings? I do. I have a brother and two sisters and then one stepsister. Um, do, will you do collabs with other kids' businesses? I have done it with younger people, and we've done trade-offs. So, like, most of the trade-offs I've talked about were with younger, like, entrepreneurs. Um, what are some tips that you can give to other small businesses? Um, make sure you have people supporting you, and try not to branch it off with a little bit of money, and try to have people, like, really supporting you, because I tried to branch it off with, well, like fifty dollars and it did not work out very well because that's just what half a gallon of resin yeah and resin is expensive did not work out very well um what when did you start i feel like we talked on that about that in another video so many, but i think the last two videos we have but you can say it again yeah i started in, um during covid so um another person asked what your username oh how did your event go that day pretty good you have another one uh, at the beginning of the next month. Uh, what inspired you to make a business? Uh, well, like I've answered it multiple times, and I just there's a different answer every time. I don't know what this one is gonna be. <laughs> um, oh, some people are asking for um, videos of you making things. A lot of people ask for that. I'll do that later. And a studio tour. I um, have no studio. It's just um, my room. No, you do your basement, your workshop in the basement. That's your like it's area not really a studio because I don't do my bracelets. What made you want to start your business? I wanted money. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but she would love making keychains. I and really because like I would find all these toys that are super expensive. So she would say st start saving up and start selling stuff. So yeah. I started selling a bunch of keychains. Um. Let's see. Um. And then a lot of people want like a day in the life. I don't know. Cause like comment down below if you want me to do a day in my life. I mean like I will. And I just want to shout out oh, this. What? Uh oh. I want to shout out this person. What did we ask? What was the question we asked um, for this Q&A? We asked what question for all the responses? I ideas for videos. We asked ideas for videos. This person, wonderful person. Bouncy castle. <laughs> bouncy castle somebody else had a really good idea though they just said show make a video showing like a weeks of bracelets so like be like monday and all the bracelets you made and then tuesday i thought that was cool yeah but sometimes i don't do bracelets and then i'll like double up on mm. bracelets the next that time. one says to do story times while you're packing your orders that's pretty fun or like making yeah bracelets yeah so if there's anything that you want her to talk about comment down below and maybe she can do a video so all right